Okay, we're talking about types of signaling molecules. So the basic types of signaling molecules we, we will be talking about, trying to remember. So we have neurotransmitters, endocrine hormones, cytokines, eicosanoids, growth factors. So let's talk a little bit about each. First, of course, we have the endocrine hormones, which are secreted in the blood and are acting uh, far away on target cells. Then we have the paracrine, um, paracrine uh, signaling molecules, and these are acting locally, so they're not going into the bloodstream. And they are acting, for example, on uh, target cells, uh, which they so they're stimulating the growth of the cell next to it. Another example of this would be fibro fibroblast growth factors, which help the cell to grow. Um, and then there are autocrine, uh, autocrine signaling molecules, and they are working on, on self. So in this case, they're activating the self uh, through exotiso uh, exocytosis. And, uh, for example, uh, something from one part of the cell would go to work on another part of the cell. So we see an example here in, uh, with autocrine. Uh, signaling uh, systems. So we can think about cytokines. Uh, we can also think about growth factors. Growth factors can tell a cell to move towards, uh, a, you know, uh, growth of course in a normal state, but also in a disease state can move towards um, growth and division uh, in a disease state, so they're not always good. Uh, we'll talk some more about the growth factors, uh, but also let's think about second messengers, for example, uh, cyclic AMP, and also think about arachidonic acid and uh, other uh, molecules and their roles in inflammation and immunity. Okay, so let's go on and talk a little bit more about this.